Joined now by Fox senior political analyst Britt Hume to help unravel part of what happened today with the attorney general. It, as you saw, Britt, the attorney general came under what seemed like fire from Republicans on the Hill who were anxious to see an independent counsel investigation of the Clintons and uh, Uranium One. W explain the cross currents there, if you would. Well, Republicans want an independent counsel investigation of the Clintons and Uranium One for much the same reason the Democrats wanted a special counsel investigation of Russian meddling in the election, because they think it will reflect badly on the other side. And Sessions, I think to his credit, resisted saying that he was going to do that. He said he would have the appropriate people under the manual that governs the behavior of people in the Department of Justice look at it and see if the facts of the case met the standard for the appointment of a special counsel. That's where the matter was left. Huh. So what do you think is likely to happen? Do you think there will be an independent counsel well, investigation I, or a couple of them? Well, I, I, I don't know. It will depend on what lawyers in the department say. I know uh, some conservatives who want this to happen are very pessimistic because they think the career lawyers left over from the Obama years will, will be the ones who make the call and it will never happen. My own view, Tucker, for what it's worth is that special counsels are always and everywhere a bad idea. And the reason is not that right. they're not honorable people who conduct these investigations. The reason is that you're carving out a certain case for investigation by a largely unaccountable prosecutor who has but one right. case uh, that he or she must deal with. And, uh, you know, there's ostensibly a grant of what's called a measure of, a, of independence. But as a practical matter, it is nearly total independence with a virtually unlimited budget for the special counsel to go forward. And it, it amounts, Tucker, to a roving commission. Uh, and we see that illustrated. We've seen it time and time again, that offenses that were never, one would never have contemplated when an investigation is undertaken end up being prosecuted. Yeah. Uh, the Manafort case is, the case is one example. That, the, the, the activities that were, in, that were charged in that case occurred nearly all of them before the Trump campaign was even born and had nothing, That's so right. far as we know, whatever to do with the Trump campaign and its relations with Russia, which were a part of the investigation. But you see, once you things get started, they can metastasize in any direction. And it's not as if the Department of Justice can look at this and say, look, we've got a long list of things we need to investigate and possibly prosecute. This particular matter does not rank high enough to warrant the commission of resources to it, and it would be a lower priority matter. Once you, do, once you put the special counsel on the case, it is priority one, and he can go wherever he wants. He can use such FBI resources as he needs, and on and on it goes. I just think, and as a, matter, as a constitutional matter, I think there's an accountability issue that, that, that these things yeah. uh, raise that have not been satisfactorily answered. And next thing you know, you've got FBI agents pulling you out of the shower, which just happened. Britt, thank you very much for well, that. Well, yeah, and, and coming into your home in the wee hours of the morning, you know, for, a, for a, some federal criminal uh, financial offense, really. <laughs> Wouldn't want that. <laughs> thank you, Britt. <laughs> yeah, who would, right? Yeah, you bet.